Hello and welcome back to Spyro the Dragon. Just reloads into the map. I have basic memory functions, honest. Ooh, another extra life. I'll take it. I guess we are being given those because I die a lot. And now we're headed to Crystal Flight. Crystal Flight, did, did Crystal Flight have something for us? No. Actually, it's a flight. Maybe we should keep it for the end of the episode? Ah! I'll just see how it goes. Though it's a bit strange. I guess the previous flight, was it night flight? Was meant to be sort of a hidden one. If I remember correctly, there was an achievement for recovering it in the first place. But I may remember incorrectly, in which case there was not. An achievement for recurring it in the first place, which is also fine. Okay, you want us to go that way. Works for me. Thank you, sign girls. Oop. I nearly bounced that up really bad. But only nearly. Okay, there's. Last of the gates. I'm not entirely certain what we were supposed to be hunting next from here because we currently got into the plane tail from meat from the middle of them. But while we are now here with the chests. So We have a little bit of time to find the rest of the planes. But I have no idea where they are. They're coming. And I missed one. Mm. Almost on the first chance. Almost. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? I guess we have to find a way to catch those... Uh, the, the Dale Gunners. They're not actually Dale Gunners. Dale Gunner is a term for something else. Probably a tail gun on a plane, where a tail gunner would shoot people from a gun on a tail of a plane. That makes more sense. But I want to see, find a way to get those two guys at the back of the row at a sensible time and not when I am confused as to what we're supposed to do. Maybe that is exactly what happened. I was confused as to what we were supposed to do and I missed a couple of planes. Was that the last plane in the line? In the line? I don't know. But I'm going to fucking hope so. Because if not, there is a plane loose. There is a plane still loose. Damn it. Oh no, don't do that. Landing is bad as is slamming your face into a wall. These are not things you should want to do as a dragon spider. We also missed the chest. Which is also not what you should want to do as a dragon spider. The dragon. Yes. So we missed two items. Which is not an improvement over last time, where we only missed the one plane that I wasn't able to find. I wonder, if I would start off with the planes first, where would that put me? What sort of situation would I put myself into? Because that would give me a lot of extra time to start off. And it would mean that I find that bloody last plane at a bloody sensible time. Instead of whenever this has been. Okay, we got what I figure was the last plane. I'm just gonna have to hope that we didn't miss any planes since. But since there are four planes ahead of us, I think we are good. Fantastic even. 
we are right on schedule so if I don't land or slam my face into a wall I think we should be good though I did miss a chest which is also as to say not ideal but we have 12 seconds and if I'm lucky that is less than 7 seconds away less than 5 seconds away it is excellent we have accomplished the crystal flight no that's fine that is my best time and that will be my best time for now I know it can be proved upon from the fact that we did miss a chest and had to go back for it and yes my flight was a bit more challenging than that one was and I don't mind that this took us less time to finish was there anything else that we should worry about? Blowhard. This is Wizard Peak. Where's Blowhard? Well, there's no hidden items on this one, other than what is standard for the course, which is the key and the lock chest. And like tiny little keys of somewhere where we're not sure exactly where they might be. You know, that, that's a standard. I like them better when they just uh, try to do bodybuilding exercises or demonstrations than when they're actually swinging things because I am apparently not good at dodging. As evidenced. I tried very quickly. We didn't even make our way to the first. I thought I saw some land there. I know I see some land over there. Hello. I'm doing a little, little sheepy. I hope you're well. I'm just going to ignore the entire map and go explore these edges instead because these seem to be less bloody fucking lethal. And bloody fucking lethal is way too fucking lethal. Don't you agree? Right. There's a lot of edges here. Something about edging. I think we're fine. You can hear some combat around, but I think that's also fine. That thing. You wanna you wanna hit me? Not allowed. Ooh, I apparently had not killed one of them. Right, that was the guy who was on the bridge before. No? No, I just didn't have uh, sparks to pick up coins for me, so I guess that's why we missed out on that coin. Ooh. Preemptive fire. That actually worked this time. Ow! But a bunch of root points. Come on then. With the first dragon we've seen on this map. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards. Yeah, have this. That's cool. Like a real dinosaur. I can hear you bouncing. Sheeples. Alright. Hello! This is like a skate park. You just go back uh, from one way to another way. Ooh! 
That was almost enough. Is there anyone else down here? Oh, that's another charging place. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, and I see what I'm supposed to do about that. And I can see what I'm supposed to do about that. It's all about the charging. So let's charge up. And make that sh oh. Make that descent, I guess. I was about to say that I'm gonna make that jump, but that was not the case. And I don't want to lie to you. But since we are here, we should try this again. Oh, not quite. The big boys did respawn. Why did the small boys respawn? Yeah, once again, not quite. Maybe I should release charge at some point while I am really close to the edge, so Spyro can try and change the charge, well, change the flight angle. Nope. Or well, in case of yes, that was just not enough. But oh no, that's that's. That's a crystal. I was thinking that that might actually be something I can also charge through. I thought that was, that was a window. And I thought Spyro was small enough. Okay. See if you have an extra life for me. The answer is no. And try this again. Right. Bricks. Breaks is something you should always consider when you're making a charge. <laughs> but it is not something I consider. Also, collision meshes are something you should consider when you're making an environment such as this where there's a lot to fall through. Like, okay, sure, don't make people stand on it, but don't let let Spyro just fall through cliffs. That's that's not hot, man. That's not sexy. Okay, that's too early. I need to go back up there now. I did it. I charged. I succeeded. I didn't stop. I didn't stop succeeding, so I died. So remember, whenever you feel too successful. Try to stop succeeding for a moment, so you wouldn't die. That's not motivational now, is it? No. That's probably not a message to take away from this episode. Yeah. I mean, that's usually how things go for me in... Uh, what shall we call it? The Exocom 2 as well? At some point, I stop. I start succeeding and I don't su stop succeeding until I'm dead. And I will very much end up dead in that situation. Though it's also possible to stop, to start failing and not stop failing until you're also dead. So maybe death is just a natural part of the course. Yeah, probably. Probably. But I still want those chests over there. He that guy is keeping those gems keeping those gems from me and those gems are very very important to me just like all the other gems on this map of which there are still exactly 251 those all those 251 gems are very very important to me and I can't can, I, I cannot go on without them I cannot leave this place until I have them all come on Get in, get in spots his belly just in case you are blue. Da ba di ba di die and then give me an extra life. Da ba di ba di die. Hmm. Nope. Still the wrong angle. 
I'm not entirely sure what I did differently to succeed. So, getting the... Maybe a challenge. Also, I should not lean back so far as to knee my desk, because that may be audible on the other track and I don't want that. It was a gentle kneeing, but still. Maybe I should come back to this guy. But I really, 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 really want his gems. He is stockpiling gems from me. That's at least, that's at least two gems over there. Okay, we'll come back to it. Let's come get these ones before. I can hear taunting very close by. Okay. That went a lot better than I expected. Now how do we get back? That looks like the way to get back. Yes. Well. I should probably consider that I don't want to get hit with those things. Hi, Hexus! What you got for me? Well done, Spyro. Thank you for releasing me. Yes, but well, okay. I'll take your gratitude. Gratitude is pretty good. Yeah. Well, time to charge these guys. And that. And this. And that. Woo! Come on, sheep. Get in my belly. This... Aging choke is a bit much. Alright. I wonder if too much aging is how edge lords are born. Uh, never mind all that. Uh, I still want another charge so we can come back to that with more power. So I don't have to worry about those big boys because I can charge right through them. Like this. Okay, well, it might be a challenge with all the jumps involved. It might be fine. Okay. You're good. That's good. That's good. Presently not 100% certain exactly what else we're missing. Other than those Listen gems. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's home world? Waterfall. Sounds good. What? Oh, so that was completely unfair. The game should not have placed me right on the, the bloody mace. The club. The club sandwich. We should not have been placed in a club sandwich. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Oh, so... We are now, we have now been given a tip on what the else we can find in the Hutterson homework. But how do we get back into the Hutterson homework? That is my question. Other than also wanting to ask how I got up there before, because I cannot seem to be able to repeat that particular feat. And by the feat, it was. And yes, I get, keep leaning back uh, enough that I keep both stomping my leg and kicking my desk. Neither of which is a good option. So... Do I need to start keeping count as to where I jump 
how that affects where I land. And try and get this done like a reasonable person instead of ranting away. Probably. That seemed like I was on the upwards ascent just after the carpet. So, if I jump from the carpet instead of just after the carpet. Wait, what am I talking about? Did I jump from here somewhere? Where was after the carpet? That, that makes absolutely no sense. I, I was. My data! It's null! It means nothing! It was completely useless. Uh, and I can't burn these. Can't leave any permanent markers on the map as to where I jumped and where I did not jump at it. It feels all the same because it's just. It's a circle. Okay, so if I. Let me try that. I'm gonna either land in the goo or I'm going to charge in a way that has me just. Right, yeah, 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 I la jumped too early. I want to be just about to reach the goo when I jump. I just want to edge the goo. Mm, almost, almost, almost. I think my something harmed my jump angle. And that's it. Something harmed my charge angle. Hmm. Once again, I know I accomplished that while remaining in charge last time. This time we keep seeming to hit the ledge too early, I guess. Extra life! Again! Excellent. This is like the stupidest farming thing I'm currently doing because I don't want to farm here. I just want to get up there and get those gems. But while the sheep is right here, it, there's no harm in not charging the sheep. If I need to charge back up anyway. The bastard is just looking there, smug, knowing I cannot get to him. Because it's out of my power. Out of my reach. There we go. There's still a five of gems somewhere. Oh, I see. Okay. Cool. 100% level complete. That is what I was after. And that is what I have done. We are freed from this eternal charging prison. And we may now try and see if we can jump up this ledge with sufficient leapiness to keep our turbo charge. The sentence was not over by the time I had already failed. What I had set out to do. That's fine. Back to the Magic Crafters world. Hello? That's rude. Okay, so I'm thinking there's Blowheart over here. Right. That's where we want to go next. For some reason. Not sure why, and I'm pretty sure this was where we were had that the challenge of uh, riding a Druid platform for 10 seconds. Which sounds like it's meant to be a challenge. I had the most delicious ice cream for dinner. Peppermint and chocolate chip. Which is pretty much the only ice cream I ever buy if I'm buying by the box instead of like small sticks because for some reason they don't sell that as like those. 
ice creams on a stick sort of deal. These guys seem to be just hot air, you know? Being cooled down by the rain, causing lightning. Or at least... Oh hey, you, you seem... Oh, is that Blowheart? Is that what the implication is? Is this a boss level? And the, are these the platforms that I'm supposed to ride for 10 seconds? Let's find out. Wow, 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 wow. Skip on the quiet. That was indeed the case. Give me a moment, I will grab your platform in just a second. Taxi. Ooh, and there's platforms that uh, move different ways. I love that one of the druids is literally a face, a beard, and a whirlwind. I think there were also hands in mode. Me, Spyro. You have no idea how long I've been trapped in crystal. And uh, neither do I. Who are you again? Um, I'm out of here. Hi, out of here. I'm Spyro. But no, I'm Andres. Spyro is Spyro. Wait, no, Spyro is out of here. Okay, I'm, I'm not entirely sure now. So there were plenty of Druid platforms to choose from for this particular challenge. I see you, Blowhard. Now you do have arms. So you are arms, shoulders, a beard, a face, hat, and a whirlwind. That's pretty cool. I like that. I want to be given a shortcut now in case we fuck up real bad. It sounds like something I might do. It's a good thing I do not give Blowhard a chance to do anything. Prove why he is a boss fight. Oh, that's something he does. Get down here. Or not. Apparently, you don't have to if you don't want to. Oh, and there we go. Let's go. I am a gatherer, not a hunter, though. Technically, no, we are hunter-gatherers, because we also hunt to get gems. Right. That's how it works. Yeah. Thank you, Spyro, for recovering so many of our dragon eggs. Thank you. Board for the Beast Maker's world if you're ready. Would you like to go? Sure. Let's go check out the Beast Makers. I'm not sure if we missed any doors here. I do hope not. And next time we will start off in the Beastmaker's world, ready to make some beasts, I guess, maybe? Or should we make some beats? No, probably not. No, I, I am absolutely not someone who should be responsible or someone who should be given access to duels to make music with. Which is why I have a very strange flute and a mandolin in my possession. I should make really bad tunes with them to use as outro tracks. Yes. On the other hand, I would probably lose the only viewers I still have. I still have is a misconception because they are from this year. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time when we will go and walk. Well, huh? Hey, I remember this place. Did I play this far in the game? Maybe. Or am I thinking of Spyro's Tale? Spyro, a hero's tale, even. Maybe, I'm not sure. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. I'm just out. Bye-bye.